they don't. <laughs> so <laughs> <it's fun. laughs> because of hopes, dreams, and nothing else in between. I am alive because someone looked you in the eye and begged the question, do you believe that people can change? Get well soon. Don't 
you know that love just comes and goes And when it is contained, baby, it never will remain But you give it all away until it's gone But you give it all away until it's gone But you give it all away until it's gone Hi, everybody. Wow, an honor it is to be here with you guys. Thanks for being here. We sold this place out. So, um, a couple years ago, we released an album called Perennials. And because it was mid COVID, it, we didn't get a release show. So, it's kind of happening now. This, this will help, I promise. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you are listening to a lot of the new songs from uh, our, our album Chrysalis, which came out last week. <laughs> and just a moment ago, you heard from Sylvia Thomas, our poet, our resident poet. And uh, I'm just trying to get this panto thing to work. Alrighty. Alrighty. You ready, Puff? Alright, this one's called Grid.
get great than being buried underground so long, so long. So, so many people put so much time and effort into making this show happen, and I will thank them all by name later, but first, I would like to introduce you our band. Over here on our string sections, um, I met these folks about two weeks ago. We pulled it off. Yeah, we have Cheyenne Salil, Cassie, Sarah, and Jody. Back over here. <laughs> yes, what's up? <laughs> Wonderful addition. This is this is pop extra. This is what you're getting today. Back here on okay. it's Phil Often. He plays percussion. Over here on guitar and awesome sometimes bass is Adam. Look at him in his puffy sleeve velvet thing. It's pretty fucking cool. Back here on drums, it's Jacob Powell. He also sings really pretty high harmonies very loudly. <laughs> Over here is Ty Mason on bass and pedal steel. 
And Mina Cohen over here on several things. <laughs> Keys, accordion, melodica, vocals, everything. And we have Anna Hustley here on fiddle with us today. So I, I want I want everyone to think of tonight as both a the celebration of life, but also a a celebration of death. Yes. And, right. It's, it's, it's kind of a funeral, because this, this is whole album is about death and about grief, but there's so much fruit in there to all of this if you choose to embrace it, and I hope that tonight this is a safe place for you to do that. Um, and we're going to sing a song about courage. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's called Brave. I try. <laughs> Hey, Johnny or Levi, I might need some click in my ears if you can. Yeah, yeah, there we go. This is how professionals do it, folks.
your breath Long story short is better If you never wanted me, that's okay I just wish you had said something Oh, so what have you got? start over a new in like coastal Arizona or something. Grave 
lifting up and turning. Yeah. I think the mountain is going Join me on a song. So, um, a couple summers ago, Puff got asked to go film a mahogany session in Los Angeles. And we got to meet Madeline out there through some connections with friends. And right then and there, we were like, we should probably do some kind of collab. Yeah, we should work together. And dang it, we did. Yeah. She recorded harmonies on the whole record, and uh, we co-wrote this song together called Horror Scope. <laughs> and the music video for it was actually shot like right outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways. Ready? I'm ready. Boys ready?
So, um, how many of you have actually listened to the album since it came out? Yeah! That's incredible. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's wild, guys. Thank you for listening to it. I think I've listened to it like every day since oh. it came out. <laughs> also preparing for this show, but I yeah. just fucking love it. Just because you love it, right? So, um, a big part of the sound of this album has been reclaiming the roots of my southern upbringing. I was, I was raised in East Tennessee. I, Tennessee loves me. <laughs> But basically, I'm just, whatever. Um, basically, I came out and got divorced and started Puff at like the same time. And it was a lot. We made it. Um, but during that time, I was, I was experiencing a lot of grief. And um, I, was, I literally died and had to start living again. Start it over. That's what I'm talking about. Transformation, bro. So, when I was in this grief state, I was looking for some comfort and I was gravitating towards things like the southern sound, the folk music that I grew up with. And I, for a long time, for like a decade, I was making music along those lines. And because of my feelings about the South, I distanced myself from it. But I thought like, well, what if I, a trans gay were to reclaim the sound, right? Because <laughs> it, it's such a beautiful sound, but it's often associated with regions of America that don't like trans people. Um, so I was like, well, I mean, it wasn't from a place of trying to be badass, but it turned out to be. It, it started out in a place of, of need, of of repair and it was absolutely necessary to do this so um yeah you're he you're healing like hearing you're healing us absolutely but you're also hearing me heal right now like if you had told me two and a half years ago that there would be people a sold out white rabbit who wants to listen to my divorce songs I think it's good for us to speak to our younger selves, so that's what it's all about. Um, yeah, so this next song is called um, Free Yourself, and uh, Anna, do you want to come up here? Sure. I know, is this comfortable? No, we're, um, this is a, a good old bluegrass song.
So, I'm gonna sing a song by myself. I just like singing songs by myself surrounded by a dozen other musicians. Here, hold on. So, part of this whole coming out process involved um, a time of homelessness, it was very brief, but it was enough for me to learn to very quickly appreciate things like a bed. Um, I had to leave a pretty unsafe situation um, to, you know, be at relative peace with myself. And what a lot of people don't understand is like when, it, like, like, <sighs> Coming out just happens. <laughs> um, sometimes <laughs> it's not planned, and sometimes it's, it's messy as fuck. But sometimes um, it just uh, happens upon you. You don't have to ask anybody if you want to dye your hair, or go see a movie, or to go take a walk, or anything like that. You don't have, you need any anybody's permission to do this. And coming out is very similar, except that there's often a safety aspect. So I um, was reckoning with that, and this particular song is one by one of my favorite artists. I mean, it's an old American folk song, but my favorite version is by Gillian Welch. This is a song that was really important to me during that time. It's called Make Me Down a Pallet on Your Floor. Make me down a pallet on your floor. Make me down a pallet on your floor Make me down a pallet soft and low When I'm broken I got nowhere to go Been hanging around the good time friends of mine The way I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tight. Oh, I'll be satisfied if I can't get on a fast train and ride. Weary blues and everywhere I see. Weary blues everywhere I see. blues and everywhere I see. No one ever had the blues like me. So make me down, leave have it on your floor. Make me down a pallet on your floor Make me down a pallet soft and low When I'm broken I got nowhere to go Not 
be not know, like not have the opportunity to know really who you are. Mm -hmm. But you just want to waste the fucking potential. <laughs> because people can't be who they are, who they're supposed to be. And um, right there, you, yeah, just fuck, man. Fucking just, uh, you know, there's people like struggling to fucking survive, and like, that's the big chasm of existence is, uh, just spend too much sometimes. Can't get out of bed sometimes. <laughs> and it's not even my own shit, it's just the shit of the world. Luck 
going on But the band's all here We're ready to go But I guess you'll never know You should have seen the crowd We didn't fuck it up too bad I'm pretty sure that I got a
Um, thank you so much, so much for being here. Pretty rad, not gonna lie. So we have a couple more. And there are just some people that I just have to thank. This is like an Oscars performance, except like I'm the only winner. <laughs> you're all winners. In my book, to mommy, you're all winners. So, um, we have a lot of people on our tech crew that I want to thank. Johnny, Levi, <laughs> they're doing sound. Badasses, they also engineered and produced the whole album. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick is back here on lights. We have a lights guy. Yeah. We have Austin and Anna and Elijah who are all doing camera and video. We're gonna have footage of all this, which is really rad. And we're also gonna use the footage to like pitch to bigger artists, hopefully go on some big tours. We'll see. Brandy Carlisle, I'm coming for you, babe. Um, also, our guitar tech, Hannah, has been handing me guitars. Woo! She's somewhere. There she is. <laughs> and then we have um, our merch people, Angie and Chance back there at the table. We have merch, so we have posters and flyers from the show and everything, and there's some cool shit back there, and shirts, so go say hey to them in a second. I'm still going. Our manager is Jalissa Gasho. She's been keeping it all together. It's really, really great. I also really want to thank White Rabbit, everybody here. Tip your bartenders like hell. They deserve it. Um, oh my god. Also, we have, we have sponsors, um, Andy String Theory, yeah, they fixed this amp, yeah, um, also, um, WFYI from NPR is here as well, there are sponsors, they're kind of partners, yeah, um, want to thank Lily and Madeline for opening for us, thank you. you guys, thank you. oh my thank god. You. I want to thank my lovely band for sticking through this all and like making the dream come alive at its core. I want to thank all the strings people. And I also want to thank my partner, Marley. I love you. She's been with me through this whole thing. It's really awesome. I just, I just want us all to take a moment before these last couple songs and just think about your life and think about all the things that have brought you here to tonight. And just like look at all of it and look at all the ways that you have lived and things that you can be proud of about yourself. Look at the ways that you have been cut off and torn away and denied and died. And look at them all as mattering and it's all brought you here, and it's all part of the process, and it's all worth celebrating. So it's not to, in any way, like, denote like, any kind of dismissal toward grief, because it's very real, and it has to be faced in order to really be worked through. But in things like this, like showing up to live music, supporting the arts, bringing your friends out for a night at the Rabbit, this is what makes it happen. So thank you all so much for making this happen. I keep on thinking of things to say. Okay. <laughs> Another thing is that, like, the most, some of the most, like, atrocious conversations and laws and stuff are being passed right down the street that are limiting access for people like me. And it's making it really scary to live in Indianapolis at times, folks. Um, something that you can do, besides vote, is Find all the people in your life that are trans or queer, tell them you love them, absolutely. But the main thing is like, talk to the people around you that aren't queer. Um, call people out, goddammit. Like if, if someone is, 
yeah, if, if someone is like saying something that you know is transphobic, you know is queerphobic in some way, it, it is your job to stand up and say something because you're right there. And I'm saying this because like it helps me stay alive, folks. Like it's that real. <laughs> it's not. It's I'm not even kidding. It, it comes down to you talking to like your family to um, your estranged cousins and things like that. Finding the disaffected people and having conversations. Um, because like the laws are being passed, sure, but what's worse is the rhetoric that's being created. And we have the responsibility as an Indianapolis arts community to do something about it within our own hearts. Call yourself out, own it, it's okay. There's, there's grace here. Um, I just ask that everyone will work together, please. <laughs> I love you all so much. This one is uh, it's for all the queers. Said I'll see you on Sunday morning You said you'd see me in hell Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference these days I guess it's just as well And that book it is also written What you seek, you shall find Maybe hell and heaven or places like that Maybe it's all a state of mind Isn't hatred just a sickness Turning back into itself Said I am an abomination But I guess I'll see you all in hell
Love y'all. Thank you. All right, is that awesome? If you'd like to come say hello at the merch table, I'll be back there in a few minutes. Um, once again, I just want to thank this incredible group of people who have made this all happen. You for being here. White Rabbit for hosting us. Salon Mad for opening. It's really fucking cool, man. <laughs> Alrighty. This is a song I wrote when I was 19 years old. I was a heartbroken freshman in, in college. And I'm 31 now, so. 12 years. Math. But this song kind of came back to me because of coming out and divorce and all this. I was really faced with the issue of love and time and what matters. So here it goes, folks. I think I've lost it. My heart blows like the wind with every season The hope that I once had is non-existent I'm numb to who I am and what I know You know what it's like To lose yourself inside of your own head and there it's difficult to decide who are your friends You don't know who you are, where you've been Because it's war A war inside my spirit and I'm losing To myself into the fright of my very eyes after all, this is a fight, babe. Yeah, after all, this is a fight, babe. I hate to see it. Your reflection in of my tears. And I see you, I'm feeling older than I am. I'm glad. Other things that I don't blame I wouldn't feel sorry for myself Oh yeah Because it's war A war inside my spirit and I am losing To myself and to the fright of my very eyes
after all But are we really fighting for?